Hi Leo, welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. I'm going to do your May read, first week of May 2022. Um, if you like the video, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload next because I don't do it at any set time. Uh, and last night I, I tried to do the zodiacs, I got three done. <laughs> the energy was wicked. Um, I was drained, so I postponed the rest till today, tonight. I apologize for the wait, though. Um, so we're going to start off with the spiel. I don't use gender. I don't use signs because we all embody these energies throughout our lifetimes, depending on the situation. As an example, you could be an earth sign needing to speak your truth and set boundaries with people. So that would be the Queen of Swords representing you whether you're male or female. And if you're not well-versed in tarot, you might not know that. You might miss your message, okay, or be misinformed. And I don't want that. I want to keep it as simple as I can. So if I he, uh, if I use the pronouns he and she, uh, it's only because it's on the cards and it helps to keep it straight in my head. Uh, so don't be alarmed about that or offended, please. And yeah, take what applies and toss the rest and try to make it fit into your world, okay? It's not a good idea. Based on the um, on the reading, if the reading is for you, based on the descriptions of the characters and the storyline, you'll know exactly who's whom. You'll know if it's your story or not. Again, toss, uh, you know, take what applies, toss the rest. I'm trying to make it fit if it doesn't. Okay, we're, we're ready to go, Leo. I did yours yesterday a couple times, by the way. It was a no-go. So we're doing it again now. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, the white light. We're in the messages for Leo, first week of May, 2022. What would you like Leo to know, please? Okay. Somebody's tense here. Knight of Wands in reverse. Holding back, Leo. <laughs> Holding back from conflict. Okay. We'll, we'll go with that. Bottom of the deck is the Five of Wands, right? There's conflict, there's competition, there's game playing here, and you're walking away. You're not playing, you're not engaging. Don't blame you. Why is the Knight of Wands in reverse here? Why is this Knight of Wands holding back, walking away? You're holding back from walking away from something that's not emotionally fulfilling, or you're holding back that you are walking away. You invested eight cups in a situation. It doesn't have to be love. It could be business. It could be anything. But you've invested eight cups in a situation. Eight out of ten cups. That's a lot, right? That's time. Blood, sweat, tears, time, money, energy. Time. Uh, it's not emotionally fulfilling or, or satisfying any longer. So somebody's walking away here. Whether it's you or somebody you're dealing with, they're walking away in search of their ninth cup. Because the nine of cups is fulfillment. Emotional fulfillment and happiness. Or even your ten. Ten cups, right? I'm going to leave that there. Bottom of the deck, we have the four pentacles, right? In the upright. So somebody's holding on, refusing to let go. Leo? Or maybe you're protecting yourself. We'll see where it goes. Eight of cups in the upright for the sign of Leo. First week of May 2022, please. Walking away from stability. Ten of coins. It's the stability, security, family. But it's also a ten. So bear in mind that tens also can mean, very, they do mean, a cycle A cycle's complete. So whatever this is, you're walking away from that. You're holding back from walking away from the family, from stability, from what you've always known. You've invested a lot in this. How is this working out? Or it could be work. You know, something that you've been working at a long time that gave you stability and security. But it's just not satisfying anymore. You're heartbroken. Somebody could be walking. Either this is you or someone else. There's heartbreak here. Three swords in the upright. Yeah, this hurts. Bottom of the deck. What's the ten of pentacles here in the upright for the sign of Leo, please? Oh, this could go another way. Somebody was so egotistical and conceited, hot-headed, impulsive, um, argumentative, confrontational, thought their shit didn't stink, stealing people's ideas, I, um, achievements, and, and, and work, 
um, they don't care. They don't care, right? It's me, me, me. Every all eyes on me, always needing the attention. They walked away from you, just to find out that you are a ten of pentacles. You stable and secure. You have like generational wealth. That could go that way too, Leo. Ten of pentacles in the upright. Why is this here, please? They missed an opportunity. <sighs> <laughs> they missed an opportunity. Wow. That's the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they, you were a blessing. They didn't see that. They're out in the cold now. Five of Pentacles in the upright. Can't make that stuff up, right? They're out in the cold. Dang. They were immature. Page of Cups. They were immature. Dang. Okay, man, that took a twist. Okay, yeah. Oh, they were emotionally manipulative. King of Cups in reverse. Oh, boy. Yeah. This King of Cups doesn't, like, in the upright, they're very loving, compassionate, empathetic, caring, giving, nurturing. Nah, 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 nah. None of that stuff in the in the reverse here. Doesn't have to be a male, by the way. It could be a female. This energy is very emotional, uh, emotionally manipulative, okay? And they're self-serving, they're very, very um, self-absorbed. Um, try saying no to this energy and see what they do, by the way. Typically, they're emotionally unavailable. Okay? They only want what they want. They always have an angle. It could be a very big drinker. Look how he's staring. He, I say he, but it could be a she. Staring at that cup. Thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. And now they're thirsty. They're out in the cold. <laughs> they're, they're, they have no control of their emotions here. What am I doing? Spread them out so you can see a little bit better, right? Yeah, they've lost their their emotions are all over the place now because they're out in the cold. They've realized what they walked away from. Hey, oh boy, ten of cups reverse. No emotional fulfillment or happiness where they are. They could have scapegoated you for something, right? You weren't emotionally fulfilled or happy with this energy. I know that for sure, Leo. You there was no way. Yeah, could have been a home wrecker. Um, breakup of a family, a group dynamic, a relationship, no emotional fulfillment or happiness. Yeah, it could be, put you through it mentally maybe. A lot of uh, sleepless nights. It could be mental illness as well. And I'm not saying anything about mental illness. I know that's hard to deal with. Uh, kept you in your head for sure, okay? But this person could have had some mental illnesses, some, some, um, some issues, okay? Could be sick. Could have made you sick. I don't know. It's hard to deal with mental illness, no matter what, whether you're the person going through it or dealing with it. It's very hard. Why is the Ten of Cups in reverse? The sign of Leo, please. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, somebody was insincere. Not a Cups in reverse. Smile on your face and lie through their teeth. Right? They're into casual hookups, possibly sex without love, sex without emotion. It's just, it's just function. There's, there's nothing to it to this person. The cup's up. The cup is uh, upside down. There's no emotion. There's no love in it, right? Could be a con artist as well. This is a, a card suggesting that as well. A bed hopper. Yep. Yeah, they're regretting it now. They're crying. In, they're crying over spilt milk. Five of cups in the upright. They're regretting. They're grieving. Oh boy. Look what I could have had, right? Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, they're not happy. Sun in reverse. They're not happy. They could be unhealthy because they slept around. Maybe they caught something as well. I don't know. That would explain the four swords, right? In the reverse, when I said they were sick. It doesn't have to be mental illness. It's just the swords are mental, right? So sometimes I think of that as mental illness. But it could be a, a sickness as well. Yeah, they're not happy that you're shining here. The you know, six of wands in the upright. This is victory, success, reward, recognition, possible fame. You might be in the public eye. And they are kicking themselves right in the ass. Oh, yeah. Everybody's watching you. Look at you. Victory. And you're very... Queen of Wands beneath that. This is somebody that's sexy and beautiful. Let me get her. Hold on. Right? Sexy, beautiful, handsome. Doesn't have to be a woman. 
um, charming, alluring, standing in their power, very independent, goes their own way, very confident, by the way. They, this energy can very well intimidate certain people, especially if they got stuff to hide, right? Because look at the way she's looking. And I'm saying she, because it's on the card. She's got power, okay? She's holding on to that scepter. This is power. You cannot sit there and try to tell this energy about themselves. They know thyself. They know thyself. This one knows thyself, okay? You can't convince them of anything. They know. Good for you, Leah. Six of Wands in the upright. Okay. Oh, boy. They committed an injustice. This one's standing their ground here. Standing in their power. They, something was unfair, unjust, unbalanced. Justice in reverse. Possible lies. I mean, there's the sort of truth. It's in reverse, right? Or maybe you haven't gotten the truth about it yet. You haven't gotten any, you know... Uh, justice in the situation, page of uh, wands in reverse, right? There could have been some lies, rumor, gossip, and or slander. Somebody felt entitled to do so. They're very juvenile. They're, uh, they love drama. They love stirring the pot, right? They throw stones and hide hands. Wasn't me, wasn't me. Yeah, okay, right. They're bad news. That's what it is, it's bad news. Why is the justice in reverse here for the sign of Leo? Yeah, this is a Queen of Cups in reverse. This energy is uh, emotionally manipulative, okay? They use emotions to get their way. They emotionally blackmail you. They'll have a snit fit in the middle of a mall if you don't want to buy them something. And then you'll hurry up and comply because they won't shut up and it's embarrassing. You know, that's how they do it. Um, they're a person that likes to control people through emotions, but they can't control their own. They're not well balanced at all. Um, they're very self sad, uh, self serving and self absorbed. They're selfish, superficial, not loving, caring, compassionate, or empathetic. They only, it's just them, 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 right? They don't care who they hurt. Very, very selfish. Yeah, Leo. There could have been a choice of two here. Lovers in the upright. Yeah, maybe you found some evidence online or on their phone. This person's looking at a photo here. Maybe you saw it with your own two eyes. Who knows? Why is the Queen of Cups in reverse, please? Fourth, Son of Leo, first week of May 2022, please. Queen of Cups in reverse, please. Thank you. Oh, yeah, you're seeing the truth here. Seven of Cups in the reverse. This is um, clarity. All that glitters isn't gold. There's illusions here. You're seeing this person for what they are, who they are, what they wanted all along, right? Yep. Yeah. Something's changed here. Eight of Wands in reverse. You put a stop to this. This is bad news. This person's bad news. No communication, no, no action. There's a change. You, something stops suddenly. And you realize the truth. Yeah, there's awareness here. This is judgment here. I think you and other people know the truth here. Seeing the truth. Judgment's been called. Yep. They might want to, to come back to you. They might want a second chance. But you're, you're there's awareness here. There's awareness. This is a wake-up call for you. Yeah. Lessons learned, right? Or maybe you letting these, this... This energy go is a wake-up call for them, right? It wants a reverse sign of Leo. Thank you. Yeah. Healing your own heart. They could have been talking trash. I mean, it doesn't have to be love. It could be. It could be friendship, too. Talking trash about somebody, right? Very disrespectful. They could have ghosted you. No, no communication. You had to heal your own heart. Take it as it applies, right? It can go either way. Yeah, you went through it mentally, right? Nine of Wands in the upright, really. Sleepless nights, worried, stressed, overthinking. Nine of Swords in the upright. Somebody had addictions or obsessions or they were just toxic. Codependent. 
you know, devil energy. This is something that's unhealthy, something that prevents you from moving forward in life, something that prevents you from being being healthy, that that binds you to, you know, it could be drink, alcohol, it could be a person, a way of life. Something's worried here. There's awareness. Worried that other people are going to see the truth, maybe? This is a judgment. Am I worried about... Maybe maybe it's you. Maybe you're, you're second-guessing your judgment. Did I do the right thing? Well, listen, if this person's using you, talking shit about you, using you, making you feel manipulated, you did the right thing. Okay? Or maybe you're worried they're going to come back. Oof. Four swords in reverse. Could be an injury or an illness. Typically, I think it's an illness. There could be mental illness. Could be death of an enterprise, a person, an idea, a situation. Not happy. Not happy. There's awareness here. Somebody's really worried. Somebody could be very, very ill here. Not happy going separate ways, right? If they're mentally ill, they're they're not going to take it very well, maybe. And you realize that and you're worried about it. I get it, Leo. You don't want to make things worse, right? Three cups, they're not happy. They're parting ways. They're, they're possessive. They don't want to let go of you. Jeez, okay, let's wind this down, spirit. Sign a Leo for the first week of May, please. You're not happy though, okay? So you can't stay with somebody just because they won't let go. Just because it's gonna hurt them or they're gonna have a hard time, right? You're held back by fear possibly. Maybe they are um, a, a little dangerous, I don't know. You know your situation. Maybe you're gonna need some help to do this. I don't know, Leo. It could, you know, could have been some abuse, recklessness, right? Maybe they're threatening to hurt themselves, harm themselves, Ugh, trauma. They're, yeah, it could have been some abuse here. Maybe they're threatening to hurt the children. If there's children involved. Lashing out. Yeah, they're getting arrested here. Could be getting arrested and or confined. This is, um, but this is also awareness here. Um, wasting time. You're aware you're wasting time. You're arguing. Uh, going back and forth, maybe maybe this person needs to be confined, if you know what I mean. They need help. Yeah, they're feeling sorry for themselves. Maybe they're threatening to hurt themselves or others, right? They can't get their mind off of you. They're just focused on you, 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 you. Or maybe you're focused on this. You can't work, can't do your work properly. You can't function. You're not sleeping, you know? They're feeling sorry for themselves. You're feeling guilty. It's a big cluster, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Deep depression, very dark, five of cups in reverse. They're, they're, they need help, okay? Yeah, they're very spiteful, they're jealous. <sighs> Boy, they're hard energy to deal with, okay? They could be vindictive here, they could be lying here. Hopefully they're not coming at you with something sharp. That's all I gotta say. They're um, obsessed with you, this is love, or they think this is love, I don't know, but you got to learn to love yourself. See, they think love is going away. They can't quite grasp it. They could be... They need help. Okay? Yeah. You may be going to the courts, going to a higher power here for help. They're always following you. This could be a rabid fan of somebody. It turned into a an obsession here. Watching, 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 right? They need to be watched over. Maybe you're, you're going to court. Maybe you're looking for help. This is conflicting. There's conflict here. They're starting fights and drama here, maybe. They might think there's competition and they're bothering other people that are in your life. You got to speak your truth. You got to do something. You got to let this go, okay? It's two swords in reverse, Leo. Yeah. You got to take action. You gotta take action. This is taking a long time to come to a, a, a close here. Spirit, come on. We have the Ace of Wands here. This is there's a new opportunity here for, for you, possibly. But you got yeah. You gotta make a decision. Take action. There's been some lies. There's been some manipulation. Okay. Uh, this is you, maybe you're feeling feeling powerless. Maybe. I mean, it's 
This is an energy, yeah, you feel powerless. You want to protect and defend this person. King of Wands in the upright. You're noble, you know? You're protecting, you're defending, but at what cost? Yeah, they're lying. They're causing drama in your life. Um, could be cruelty here. Spreading rumors and lies and gossip. They're cruel. They're a bully. That's what I was looking for. They're a bully here. Threatening death or theirs or yours if you leave. Yeah, this is a cluster. Okay, Leo, this is a cluster. Maybe there's an eviction here. Maybe they need to go somewhere. Yeah, there's a, an emperor here. If this is you or someone else standing in their power here, they're going to take control of the situation. I don't know if this is you or someone else, but somebody's got the power. This is an emperor. This is all four kings in the deck rolled into one. They're coming in to take the power and control the situation. They do what's right for all involved, okay? Two of Wands in reverse. Uh, yeah, somebody's stuck. There's sudden departure, sudden arrival. Somebody's stuck. They, yeah, yeah, they gotta let go. They, they gotta let go. Gotta let go of this attachment. Yeah, this is toxic. Obsession. King of Coins in reverse. Unstable. Unbalanced. They could be stealing money as well. I don't know. Queen of Coins. Oh my God. Both of them are like that maybe. Unfaithful. Maybe it's one person. One faithful, toxic, whatever. It's karma here. This is karma. This is this got to change. Ending cycles in order for new ones to begin. This is the universe coming in and stopping this. This is bullshit. Leo, I don't know what the heck this is. Like uh, They're letting go. Somebody letting go. Giving up. There we go. It's a parting of this. this relationship is done. It's done. It's over. You're getting away from it. Good. Good. Wow. Escape. That's nuts, Leo. This is going on and on. I mean, uh, if you're... Sorry I rushed through that, but that's a lot. Oh, you're dealing with a lot, Leo. I'm sorry. Uh, just stay away, okay? Get the help you need if you need to, if this hasn't happened already. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, the person needs help, okay? It's nothing to ridicule. This person needs help. They're, in, they're not well, so I get it. You don't want to hurt them. You want to protect them. I get it. That's very noble of you. So let's get a parting message here to end this read, Spirit. What are your parting messages for Son of Leo for the first week of May 2022, please? How would you like to end this read for, for Leo? Okay. Seven in reverse to the sea in reverse. So seven in reverse is the chariot in, in tarot. This is out of control, lack of awareness, lack of acceptance or accountability. Um, it's got to be stopped. It's out of control. No structure, discipline, no direction. It's aimless. Um... Yeah, it's got to stop. Let's see where the... Since, since it's in the reverse, Leo, I'm going to read just the protection message for you, okay? Uh, if you like the read, please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm sorry I rushed through it. I mean, I try to keep it like at 20-something minutes, right? For each sign. And there's so much here. Okay, process... Uh, I'm sorry, over. Sorry about that. Sorry about the wait. Okay, when external conditions appear to block every attempt to move forward... There's no hidden message for you to decipher. Like the ocean, the tides of experience ebb and flow. You are in a natural cycle, so know that things will flow again in due course. There's no cause for alarm. Stop resisting and fighting against the situation and learn to flow, even when the tide is going out. Relax and trust in the abundance that will soon be within your reach again. An ancient mariner's saying applies to you now. When fishermen cannot go to sea, they stay home and repair their nets. So let the uh, the authorities take care of it, okay? There's people that are equipped for this. Obviously, Leo, if this is you, where was that King of Wands in reverse? Did we not see him? <laughs> I don't know anymore. There's so many cards here. You, you don't, you're not equipped to deal with this. You've dealt with this for so long, right? Maybe, you, but are you really happy, right? Maybe you can still keep going this way, but are you really, really happy? Yeah, let go in the flow. Let 
the authorities deal with it. They know best. Um, you got to learn. To, you got to heal from this as well. I mean, this is a, taking a toll on you, obviously. I hope you like the read. And I wish you the very best. You and this person that you're dealing with. I, I hope they find the healing they need. And until next week, take care of you.